what these birds symbolize is as old as Babylon, blood and bone. Messengers from the gods, from the sky. It's a human narrative. We bring these associations to birds. I'm really interested in working with animals, tapping into the cultural symbolisms of, for example, birds and what they mean to us in our literature, in our folk stories, fables. We have birds representing freedom, divinity, peace. Once our peace is interrupted, how do we grow from that? How do we become new? How do we get a new perspective in order for us to continue? My name is David Salazar. I'm a Toronto-based sculptor. I was born in Ecuador, but I was raised here in Canada at a very young age. My education at home with my grandparents and my family, a lot of stories of Ecuador, a lot of fables, a lot of fantastical stories where fantasy meets reality. And that has a huge impact to the way that I choose to tell stories. I've always been really engaged with the images that were told to me by my grandparents. It really captivated my imagination. So when, in my own work, I do try to captivate this imagination in people. We all relate to animals in a certain way. The project that I'm working for right now, it's a series of 100 plus bird botanical objects that are installed for uh, the third international Biennale in Paraguay, in Asuncion. What does it mean for these birds abruptly, violently, hitting the wall? Where do we go from there? They crash into the wall, but then they're also having botanicals growing out of them, where the end of one fuels the growth of another, a new process of a new life. A continuum of death and then life and then death and then life. I just didn't want the dialogue to stay there. I wanted it to continue. So what else happens? How do we get into the fantastical? How do I tap into people to talk to them about, well, life after death? What continues after, uh, after a shock? So that's what flowers and plants symbolize to me. Uh, it's the new growth. Once a tree falls down, new life sprouts out very quickly, uh, racing for that opening in that canopy, racing for that elements of the sun. And I see a lot of that in, in South America, in tropical climates, where life just comes up everywhere. But we interact with nature. What is it that we're doing? Is it us that are smashing these birds up against the wall? At this moment right now, with, with what is going on around the world, what does balance mean? Whether we're talking about uh, the environment, what is it that we're doing to ourselves? And what is it that we're doing to the world that we're gonna be leaving behind to people? Do we have to go through this shock? Maybe the Amazons have to burn for it to be rejuvenated. I feel that there are cycles and I'm trying to make sense of everything. How is it that we can grow from this?